Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Well, welcome to this week's Toyota Tailgate Talk. Each and every week, I tell you, we go behind the scenes. This week, we're going to go into timing and scoring and see exactly how all those transponders work. I'm going to go in there and talk to the AMA's manager of timing and scoring, Conrad Young. Well, there he is, the guy that we just introduced, Conrad Young hey, from the AMA. How you doing, Jim? Hey, uh, you don't have to get up for this. I know you're busy and stuff, yeah. but we appreciate you coming on. But, you know, timing and scoring, that's a big part of Supercross. Yeah, it is. Uh, a lot of information flows out of this room. Every bike's got a transponder on it. We gather all that information up here and then distribute it out to the world via websites and all kinds of outlets, I guess you could say. Something else that it works for, uh, for instance, would be last week in Indianapolis. We had to do that staggered start. They had to go back to the previous lap. It, you guys were scrambling probably to, hey, we need to know who's getting in that ninth position, 10th, 11th, 12th, so we can stage these guys. Yeah, it was pretty straightforward up here for us. When we go red flag up here, we, you know, we, of course, keep track of everything that happens. And then we just, like you said, went back to that lap four and just passed those numbers downstairs. And uh, we went from there. It was pretty straightforward. You got a big crew here. I mean, there's a lot of guys up here in the booth. I know some uh, around your son's at, you know, helping you guys out. How long does it take to set it up to get all the cables and everything connected down on the floor? Um, we come in on Thursday evening. Uh, we work all day Friday setting up uh, this booth and then all the stuff down on the floor. And uh, yeah, so there's me, the two operators up here. I've got a tech guy that's on the floor. We've got a couple transponder workers and then uh, Dawn down in the trailer. Uh, she is the one that, you know, puts out the results for everyone. Something else I got to go. I've been around racing a long time, way before transponders were even around. It was the old way. You had girls up in a booth, you know, writing down each and every lap. The numbers come up. What happens if some of these computers uh, go down? Do you have someone like that in, in, doing backup? Yep, we still have a uh, score girl down in the tower that, that still writes down the numbers manually. And uh, we still compare with those at the end of the night to make sure nothing was off in any way. And uh, we're also redundant up here. So if our main system goes down, we got a backup system that we go to. So there's definitely several layers there to uh, make sure scoring is correct. She's probably happy that we're in some of the domes we go to because in a mud race, I mean, it, I, I can't even read the numbers. Uh, at Daytona, I felt so sorry for my score girl. She came off the track covered in mud. So yeah, sometimes it cannot be too fun for them. <laughs> All right, we heard it from the AMA's manager of timing and scoring, Conrad Young. We want to thank you, Conrad, for coming on. I, I know you're busy. We appreciate the time. And uh, that's it for this week's Toyota Tailgate Talk. Make sure you check us out on Wednesday nights, 5 p.m. on that East Coast on supercrossonline.com, as well as check out after the checkered flag with Ralph Shaheen, Jeff Emig, Ricky Carmichael, and that is on Thursdays at 5 o'clock on that East Coast on Supercross Online also.